Hello again, fishy friends. So in today's video, I will show you how I will put background in this tank. The plan is to cover not just the back, but all the sides and bottom as well. This is, by the way, a standard 20-gallon tank with a measurement of 24 inches length, 12 inches wide, and 16 inches tall. I squared this second-hand tank for less than 500 pesos, which for me is a real bargain. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is how to apply paint on all the sides of it except the front. So, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is to remove the plastic strips using a cutter. Now, I'm removing the strips of this tank because like I said, it is second hand so no option but to remove them myself and I find the look of a stripless tank much cleaner. Well, it is more of a personal preference so it's really up to you. You can still put background on both in the first place. But the more important reason I am removing the strips is I plan to use this tank for a possible discus pair. And I have read from the net and seen videos saying the plastic strips at the top of a tank may confuse baby discus thinking the dark color of the strips are their parents so they would spend most of the time stuck in this side and starve to death. I was supposed to remove the strips at the bottom too but the silicone was too strong so I just left them. This tank as you can see also comes with metal frames on the sides. Maybe the previous owner put them for reinforcement that I also agree with so I'm going to leave them as well. There are a lot of silicone left over on the glass so I'm going to remove them by hand. Some silicone on the glass is easy to peel off, so there is no need to use any tool. However, after removing the big chunks, there will still be leftovers on the glass. So using the edge of the blade, I'm going to remove whatever stain is left. When doing this, be careful not to damage the glass because a sharp blade might scratch it, so be gentle in rubbing the leftovers. Now that I have removed the silicone from all sides, I am going to clean the inside of the tank because I want to see closely if this old tank has scratches or damage. Also, I will check which side of the tank is cleaner and better for viewing. When cleaning, I will simply use sponge and tap water. Remember to use a sponge that has not been used with soap or chemicals because we all know these compounds bring a lot of problems when mixed with tank water, right? While for the outer side of the glass, I am using alcohol and a cotton cloth. Using alcohol to clean the outer portion of the glass is rather optional, but I find it easier to remove dirt, stains, and fingerprints with it, so up to you again. Since I decided not to remove the bottom strips and metal frames, I am going to cover them with tape before I paint all sides of the tank. This is to prevent the paint from reaching the strips and metal frames. When using paint as background, remember that it is harder to remove in the event that you get tired of seeing the same color. There are in fact other options like aquarium stickers, ready-made ones that are commonly available in any fish stores, even a cheaper alternative like cartolina or cardboard, and there are even 3D backgrounds available now in some fish stores. If you are the DIY guy, you can make a 3D background yourself. So there are many options when choosing a background. However, the advantage of paint for me is that it eliminates the reflection from the glass or at least reduces it significantly. So since I chose to use paint, the first thing I decided on was what color to use. For this, I chose white. The reason is that I mentioned earlier that I plan to use this tank for possible discus breeding and many discus breeders say that a dark colored tank is not really good for discus fries because they easily get confused with dark colors and get lost all over, which is again the main reason I removed the top strips, so I'm going for white. As for which type of paint, I am honestly not a paint expert, but again I read that any type of paint is fine. I mean acrylic, lacquer, or enamel. 
And since I have an extra can of white enamel paint in my storage, that is what I am going to use. For this tank, I needed to apply two coatings to make sure that all sides are covered well with paint. After applying the first coat, I let the paint set for about 5 hours before giving it a second coating. The reason for the time interval is that although I am using a quick drying enamel, I considered the material I used it with, so I wanted the paint to adhere to the glass more. Anyway, after the second coating has been applied, I left the tank to dry for 36 hours. Again, I read that baking the tank after it has been painted makes the paint adhere to the glass more firmly, but since I do not have the equipment for baking tanks, what I did was I left it in a spot where the sun directly shines and have it sunbaked instead. Not as good as baking in a machine, but the best option I had. There it goes in the spot where I want it to be. I will give it a final clean using a sponge and tap water, then we'll install the sponge filter I newly bought online, but we'll wash it first and soak in my sump for a few minutes, hoping that it could catch some beneficial bacteria floating in my sump water. Lastly, I am going to fill it up with water from my Discus and Altum tank. About 75% of water will come from my main tank, then the remaining 25% is new water. So there you have it guys, the ways I followed when I painted the sides of my tank. I hope that you found the video helpful, so please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Happy fish keeping everyone!